name's Dave Carroll, and I'm a developer evangelist at Salesforce.com. I'm here today to talk to you about Force.com Science. And what I'd like to do is give you a brief technical overview of what Force.com Science is. And I'm going to do that by showing you a few sample sites that have been created already during our pilot program, as well as show you how to get started creating your own sites on Force.com. You might be asking yourself, what are sites? Well, sites is a technology that we've created to allow you to create publicly facing either authenticated or anonymous websites. And to do this entirely on the force.com platform and infrastructure. By building uh, sites on force.com platform and infrastructure, you reduce the complexity of managing your web infrastructure and also gain the reliability, the performance, the scalability of the salesforce.com platform. Let's go ahead and get started and see a couple of sites. The first site I want to show you is Stantiv Technologies Group. Stantiv Technologies has created their entire corporate web presence on Force.com sites. That's certainly one use case for Force.com sites. And you can see that they've got links to all of the information that a customer might, might want to have about their site. And again, it's all done on a single platform. Another site that I'd like to show you is Halford Cycle to Work site. Halford Cycle to Work is a site built by an Irish company to help implement a government program that encourages people to get out of their cars and cycle to work. They've done it entirely on the force.com platform and include registration pages. In this way, the people that they collect, the information on the people that they collect on these pages gets fed right into their salesforce.com organization where they can apply workflow, logic, uh, email alerts, and all of the parts of the platform that they may have implemented in their Salesforce org. Another great use case for um, Force.com sites is Dell's Idea Storm. Now this site combines both Salesforce.com ideas and Force.com sites to create a portal site where customers can come and propose ideas to Dell to give them their feedback on the way they do business, some of their products, and also see what other people are saying. This allows Dell to maintain uh, open lines of communication with their customers and really understand how they're doing in the marketplace. One final site that I'd like to show you is one called Chester French. Chester French is a musical group, and what they've done is created a site on Force.com platform and published the site on Facebook. This allows them to collaborate with their fans. It allows them the viral effects of the social network to gain exposure to more and more people. I think this is a very creative use of sites and one that we will see much more of. So now let's talk about building your own site. There are basically three steps to building your site. First, you create an application inside of force.com platform using visual force workflow, um, Apex code, whatever technology we support on the platform. And then you create a site. You register a domain name and then publish your pages that you've created to that site. While we won't do the entire process here, I'll show you how to get started. And we do that by going to the App Builder section by clicking on Setup. We'll come down to Sites and we'll see that I've already got a domain name registered, but I haven't yet created a site. So let me go ahead and create a new site. My new site is going to be called Dave's Demo. I'm the site contact. And then you start seeing some of the things that you would be concerned about as a web administrator, whether I want the site active, uh, what my home site page is while it's active, if I'm in maintenance mode, what the inactive page is, um, and so on. We also provide the ability to enable RSS feeds, uh, robot.txt for uh, search engine compatibility. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this active. And I've already created a page for my home page. And this page is called Home. So let's go ahead and select that as my default home page. And then I'll click Save. This site is now available and ready to run. And I can preview the site by going back to my list of sites and clicking on the site URL. 
Now my site isn't that interesting, but if you were to go to site launch demo developer edition.na6.force.com, you too can experience my force.com site. Well, I hope this was informative. We're going to be producing many more tutorials and demos in the coming weeks and months. Um, please go check out sites. It's available to you in your developer edition on June 15th. And thank you for your time.